Well hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video from Overbike Gaming. I am the Majestic Snare and this is my disembodied voice which is coming at you talking today about Star Citizen. If you are somebody who knows about Star Citizen, I will say at this disclaimer point at the start of the video, I'm sorry for anything that I get wrong in this video. Feel free to point it out in the comments. To those of you who don't know what Star Citizen is, let me just put into perspective for you, okay? Star Citizen is the most crowdfunded project uh, for a game at least as, as far as I know uh, on Kickstarter with to date I think it's about three or get very close to 300 million dollars raised over the last what nine years eight or nine years now the company Cloud Imperium Games have been working on this tirelessly for that amount of time and have ended up needing to build this incredible universe in size and, and ambition ever since they kind of launched it as an alpha which it still is back in 2014 again please fact check me if i'm getting these facts wrong the number of users kind of registered for the game i think is in above 10 million they get half a million active players each month so it's 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 up there in you know one of the top 10 mmo type style games uh, and it's in a breed of its own really when you look at it However, it's not released, it's not finished, plenty of things that are in there not functioning as they should or intended to be, so there's lots of stuff to be talking about there. So this video of mine today is to talk about my first impressions as a complete and utter noob when it comes to Star Citizen. I have not really had too much involvement with it in the past. I knew of its existence, but I didn't really get involved in Star Citizen anyway, anywhere before now but I wanted to give you my first takes maybe you're a veteran player and you want to understand how it looks to somebody who's never been involved in the game before or you are somebody who's thinking about it and found this video to sort of help with your decision making so I think if I just run through my points and then you guys can let me know down in the comments if uh, you've had the similar experiences or you've seen something else or your thoughts and, and feelings about the game itself I think the first thing to quote and the first thing to keep in mind through throughout all of this is that this is not in a released state it's not even a beta it's, it's an alpha version of a game and therefore I can't really call this a review, this is an impressions type video. So this being in an alpha state means that a lot of bugs are present uh, and that's something you have to contend with. But one thing to mention is that ambition is so high with this game, with the amount of stuff they want to put in and how things work and stuff, you know. I mean, look at look at ship design in this game. There are hundreds of ships. Well, it feels like there's hundreds of ships. There might not actually be hundreds. But there are so many different ships which you have to pledge a uh, donation and you get a ship in return that's kind of how it's working at the moment but those ships are a thing of beauty I mean the, the design of those ships is brilliant really do like it it feels futuristic but in a realistic sense they look functional yet beautiful kind of like uh, yeah, mechanical art if you like um, so for me the big point about this game that does hit you straight off is the attention to detail the attention to the visuals and the audio and the immersion that they want to push onto the player when they're doing things it could be anything from drinking out of a water bottle which you have to do multiple times to actually get the water rather than go I've bought a water bottle glug and it's finished you actually have to drink it you have to equip it and drink it maybe there's a different way i don't know i'm a noob but there's also things like um switching on the engines on your ship you don't just get into a ship and fly off you actually have to go into the seat sit down turn it on request permission to let uh, to leave and then off you go so there's lots of stuff that in the immersion side of things is very very strong and it is the order of the day this game is based all around being in this universe and i have no idea what it's like to be the equivalent of whatever the clan system might be in this game um i've had a really basic experience over about maybe six or six to eight hours just over the weekend so please bear with me with my understanding of the game uh, there may be more things in there that i'm not used to i've done a very very small amount of of combat in space i've done a few delivery missions i've flown around some ships and hung out with friends that's about my limit of experience here but what i have experienced has given me a chance to reflect if you had to explain what this game is from my experience so far and bear with me i might get some absolute burning hate for this but the, the, the play style or the feeling of it is somewhere between a, a a curated and i say that strongly a curated elite dangerous and no man's sky mashed together because you've got exploration that no man's sky promised and you know recent updates have provided but you've also got the the ship mechanics which elite dangerous is quite for me famous for so you do have that crossover and it's that immersion of being a first person walking onto a ship in certain rooms, in certain seats, and doing certain things, as well as spending time getting onto public transport to get to a spaceport in a cityscape, which 
I've got to say the visuals of that are beautiful. However, I think one of the main things you have to be prepared for in Star Citizen is the fucking thing breaking. Like, seriously, you, you don't want to walk into this as a casual player. I can say that right now. If you are willing to accept um, wasted time or wasted progression because it's in an alpha and things could change, then by all means, you know, if you're if you're willing to accept that for the, the, the payoff of the visuals and the involvement and the immersion, then yes, this is for you. If you're not that kind of player and you want to switch on, jump on for half an hour and then jump off, this is definitely not your bag. Mate, seriously consider a different game for now until it's in a much more stable position um i can probably list on two hands <laughs> the kind of problems i've experienced um while playing this game and if i've captured any with footage then hopefully i'll show them in the background however over the weekend there was an issue for the players in the europe region uh, meaning that we couldn't actually access without editing pc files or server routes in order to access the game and not time out and we were getting a 16,007 error uh constantly was getting that for about two hours um i did i did persist and try and get on eventually uh but that i, th I believe that would have been going on for about 12 hours plus which is it's a bit off really considering that kind of stuff should be fixed fairly quickly but it wasn't it's in alpha so you know have to remember that and keep that in mind i mean there'll be two schools of thought on that i'm sure other things like you have to verify your files through once you've installed the game in order to launch the game otherwise it thinks it's broken and will kick you out i had a number of occasions where i had game crashes proper game crashes when i was traveling on public transport or out in the middle of space just game closing and having to restart again um, very usual kind of stuff there I had an inability to squad up with friends that, that took forever to sort of get into the same server together so the balancing there was kind of a, a problem for me and um, I had some really silly things like in the cityscape or the city that you kind of spawn in there was black rooms which I've seen you know like things not popping in properly but the room just wasn't there I, I could just see blackness and I thought maybe it'll just occur when I you know walk in but no no the, the, I fell into space out of the spaceport like <laughs> out of the planet <laughs> <laughs> and I was ended up luckily I had an EVA suit on so I could putt putt my, my way around and find some way to get back into the game I thought I could uh, for, spotted a landing pad that was familiar I'll head towards that as soon as I got close the gravity kicked in again and I splatted onto the floor and died woke up in a bed that kind of stuff was you know the hair pulling moments for me I also had the key bindings for my mouse wheel uh, cross bound to zooming and the the cruise control limiter that you get in the, in the actual ships so I, I couldn't actually do anything it was it was really weird all i could do was zoom i couldn't couldn't control my speed uh so i had kind of a, a problem there switched a few windows came back and it was fixed again by itself very strange i also had one inability at once at one point not being able to exit the ship a friend of mine had managed to rent out uh, the Caterpillar, which I believe is from the Drake Company. Um, it's a big, big, huge cargo type ship. It's got many, many facets to it. I don't really understand them, but it, it looks fascinating, um, especially if you had a, a huge you know, squad of people working on the ship and doing something very important. But once I'd landed, I think maybe because it wasn't my ship, <laughs> but I couldn't get out. I couldn't open the doors. I was stuck there. I had to quit the game. So those kind of points are amusing, you know, especially if you get to see them, but also annoying. I had I had another mission where I had to just do a delivery, so pick up a box from here and go to that other planet, drop it off. When I got to the planet to drop it off, and bearing in mind that takes probably about 15 minutes from you know getting to the first place, you know flying there, landing, going to get the parcel, get it on the ship, fly to the new place, you know five to seven minutes or whatever it was, and then uh, get out, go to deliver the package. But the box where you put the package in was about four meters above where the the point had landed so that the hab unit on this planet was up some steps but the pointer was underneath and those kind of things are like game breaking bugs and you just you, you instantly go this game is shit like i hate this this is terrible i fucking hate this experience and then suddenly inside you you're dying to get back in the spaceship and fly again i've never really felt something like that in a game before a game breaking position that makes you then want to play more I, I don't know what this game's done to me it's got a real dichotomy going on inside of me opposing views that i i can't i can't like resolve because half of me really wants to play this game and explore the universe and fly around being you know a, a crazy space pirate or you know a merchant I, I don't know how that can resolve itself against well this game's broken it doesn't work like <laughs> but i feel myself drawn to it and for that this game has a charm that you don't often see and that's the passion that the developers have put onto it 
or put into it rather, is, is flooding over into the player. Now, I think as a new player, if you were going to go into this and spend money and this was your first experience, you'd be fucked off. But I think you have to go into this armed with the information that it's not ready yet, you know? You could, you could crunch an egg in your mouth, chew some butter and then choke on some flour. Don't make a cake, mate. You know what I mean? It's you need it to be ready before it's in. It's going to taste good. It's going to feel good and make you fat as video games do. Anyway, that's a bad analogy. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that you have to keep that in mind. But for me, the promise of exploring the universe and learning about this world as it develops and is built and effectively being some kind of founder does it's a very enticing concept it makes me feel very very important to the success of the game and if it's a game you know that i want to be involved in it seems like a two plus two equals four to me and throughout all of this you have to keep reminding yourself it's in alpha state you know it's a work in progress it's not just an alpha but it's a work in progress they're constantly dropping new stuff or doing releases i, I don't know what the, the frequency is but i've heard it's about once a month uh, which is great i mean my other favorite game of warframe i'm appreciating that a bit more now because it, there's bugs in that but not like star citizen but it's got the similar kind of mentality to keep those updates coming out more so just recently than than previous couple of months but that's another video but i think new players used to uh, any kind of semblance of a finished product uh, in the age that we are now right now of video games where the unfinished releases come out and you know it's you don't know the half of it if you've never played uh, star citizen when you come to play this it's a whole new ball game you have to be prepared for multiple bumps in the road which knock off your wheels and steal steal your engine <laughs> I'm full of crap analogies today, I tell you. But with all the issues that are happening with this game, I've really been struggling whether I want to jump in feet first or not. I mean, as a starter pack, it's going to cost me about £41, I think, to get a, a basic ship. Half of me really wants to, half of me thinks that's a waste of money right now. But I'm still struggling even to this day. I mean, I, I played over the weekend, and I think I can still jump in at the moment until they stop the the free flight weekend. And I'm, I'm still not decided whether I'm going to jump in or not. I'm worried that if... I do jump in and the experience that I've had already, is that going to be it? Is there more to it? Is there more layers? Um, obviously, without any kind of grand end goal, you have to kind of make that yourself as to what kind of player you want to be. Do you want to build up your merchant kind of skills? Do you want to get the bigger ships? Do you want to have a fleet? Do you want to um, be part of a, a bigger fighting core? Do you want to be, you know, involved with other people and make a big space battles and stuff? There might be so much to this game, but I think for my limited experience, I don't know what that is yet. In a question then, does this game value my time or do these developers value my time? Well, I've not paid them any money yet, so I can't really fairly answer that question. However, from a player experience point of view, especially being somebody in Europe after that uh, server issue over the weekend, it didn't feel like it. And that's not to say they don't like their players. I mean, they have put so much passion into this so far. You can't fault them on that. You can't fault them on ambition or just the... The, the willingness to provide new things but I think that brings us to the main concern I have for you know new players this weekend was supposed to be a way to maybe show off and get new players involved in Star Citizen and it has done I've had a go but on this on the same note you have as with all persistent games you've got one camp which are the new players which is you know how do I do this uh, this is confusing I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, help me, help me, tutorials, please. And then you have the other camp, which are the veterans saying, give us more stuff. We want new things. This doesn't work. This needs to be fixed. This is unbalanced. So how do you balance that over something that's been going for you know eight years and not even released yet? It's very difficult. So I don't envy them with that problem. But you have got these two camps to keep in mind. And I don't know whether this weekend is a good example for a new player to then experience it maybe it is maybe it's enough how do you feel have you been a new player that's tried to get involved with star citizen this weekend or this last couple of weeks what do you think has it been something that's grabbed your attention please please let me know because i want more reasons to get involved with this game if i'm perfectly honest so one thing i was saying at the start of the video was the um kind of the, the passion to the visuals and the score and, and the, the general feeling of immersion and everything but one of the things you do notice when you're going around this world is the attention to fucking detail not only just in like the character's clothing or the, the, the variation and diversification of uh, the character models you can have, but also the ships, they're functionally designed, the cityscapes look lived in, all of the areas look real and functional and they just fit, they don't feel like just plonked with random walls, there's, there's things all over the floor that look like it's a lived in space, there's 
grime and, and marks and everything else it's astounding it's simply astounding it just feels like a living breathing universe which is so nice to see in something so vast which is often the problem you have vastness you have vapidness you have emptiness that doesn't really mean anything it's just going well we're the biggest universe game in, on the market have you got anything in it well, no we've got two worlds but you know that's, that's the whole universe this feels like a living breathing universe with npcs and noise and you know just general i was gonna use the word cacophonous but it's not really cacophonous but it's, it's got it's got that feel about the space it's it's got stands it's got it, it's got people's well at the moment standing on seats but quite often sometimes you'll have npcs wandering about you'll have shops selling stuff you know you could buy a hot dog eat the hot dog <laughs> etc very 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 nice areas to be in so that's something that's it's got going for it and another thing the effects that you have when you're actually going at speed of light uh, or maybe faster I haven't researched that point but it's certainly the effects of um, ftl and the ship dynamics when you're going through it feels familiar but futuristic you know everyone these days knows what faster than light travel kind of looks like everyone has a little different take on it but it feels you know nice it feels serene it feels uh, incredibly fast it's uh, it's got a nice feeling when you're piloting the ship and that's one thing i haven't really spoken about yet the actual feeling of the gameplay within the game of flying a spaceship of running about you know it, it's it's an amazing experience for nothing more than just to be piloting a spaceship it's one of those things that has always been uh, a want of mine when we have something as good as a sci-fi persistent universe like we do have in star citizen to, to be able to just jump in a spaceship as a first person sit in the seat and fly the damn thing out into space to a completely other end of the system it just feels so nice and it, each ship seems to handle differently i've tried three separate types um a small fighter that we got with the with the uh, the free flight weekend one other kind of cargo ship called a freelancer i think it was and i had a go at piloting my friend's free rental of the caterpillar which is a big 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 cargo ship and they all feel different you know and that's really really important and not only does the ship feel different but you feel different when you're walking on different planets and moons and whatnot if the gravity is low you'll jump higher and you'll bounce about a bit little details like that are everywhere in this game and i think because of that we are at a point here where this game to me is probably the most accurate speculation of what the future holds for spacefaring people it's it's not going to be potentially accurate but it feels like the most accurate we could do as an imagining today in the present day i mean i had to run this thing on low settings i'm i'm rocking still a 980 nvidia graphics card and it was struggling the look and feel of everything was still there even at a low setting optimization is definitely something that needs work on this uh, as they're building new things i'd suggest to them actually to get that sorted now rather than trying to optimize when they've got so much other stuff in the game maybe it's easier to do it first i don't know but to me optimization is one of the things that really was quite jarring when you start playing this so in conclusion i mean waxing lyrical about how much i fucking love the game and then coming back to the the problems with the bugs the problems with uh the access and the way to play it and not being a casual player is it worth your time and money to play star citizen and to that i'd have to say maybe probably not sure might be have a punt if you are engaged with the kind of star citizen ambition it really is up to you i could not sit here in all good conscience and say buy you know a ship and get started in this game because i can't recommend an alpha what i can do is give you the information to help make your own decision um and i'm not an expert i've said this over and over again i've played you know single figures worth of time in this game but i wanted to give you my my feelings on it and maybe i'll do another one in the future if i go down the route of getting involved but at the moment I'm not sure i think you have to be prepared for it it's definitely experience and you might find yourself wasting a lot of time looking at loading screens at the moment or doing some bare minimum things and you know a couple of times over the weekend my character was reset my uh my ships had disappeared and i had to claim them back all kinds of stuff so it's it's not it's not one if you are up for progression maybe other people have had better ex experiences but in a short space of time i kind of felt like i lost stuff which isn't a good feeling however when this releases like properly and is finished i reckon we are in for something truly special if this stays as it is optimized with extra functionality in it so interactions with uh, resources and ship parts and interstellar wars and economy and trading oh my god this thing would be 
quite possibly my favourite game if it was in that position. It's not the moment. It's definitely a game that's got a little bit... like It's a, it's a diamond in the rough at the moment. It could be amazing, but it's not yet. It, it is, but only when you can play it. Or it doesn't break. Do you see what I mean? It's not It's not there, but it's, it's in position. And I really hope that they get to a point where they can fix all the problems, the, the really big ones that affect your, your time and enjoyment, to give you an experience on that I had when, I, when it was working. And that is the feeling of traveling through space being literally uh, an astronaut delivering amazon packages <laughs> but certainly it felt so good to be part of something when it was working and for that is why i'll probably get involved at some point in the future maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but soon and knowing myself and my addictive personality for the rest of my life so if you made it this far in the video Thank you for watching. Please let me know of your comments, uh, questions, concerns and feelings about Star Citizen. Uh, if you're a vet, then I'd love to hear from you about your current views of where the game is and where the game's going. And obviously, if I've got anything wrong, um, I do apologise for making any factual problems with my information. But I definitely wish all of you the best if you do get involved with Star Citizen. It's a game for the ages. Well, it is already an age. It's nearly 10 years old. In, in real terms, maybe not so much. It's probably more like eight or nine but don't forget we have videos out every wednesday and saturday and check back then for some awesome content if you want some more star citizen stuff then please let me know down below but until then don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you again soon okay love you bye bye